etiquette is one of these things that I guess it's not even just in formal situations that annoys me. It annoys me in day-to-day -day life. It annoys me. I went. I was just. I was in LA uh, a little while ago, and they have a thing in bars, like just pubs in LA. They have a thing called a drink minimum policy. They might have it here in Canada too. I don't know. It's where you have. A, you have to have a minimum of two drinks if you go into the pub. But I don't know why. The big bouncer, sir. We have a two-drink minimum policy. I said. Um, that won't be a problem. <laughs> I'm from Scotland. <laughs> so long as there's no maximum, <laughs> I'll let the games begin. <laughs> and I went, I went into this uh, pub and I got up to the, the bar. I was sitting on the bar still, making friends, you know, having a few drinks. But here's the thing they don't have. Um, in, in bars in America, they don't have that nice little safety bit at the back of the stool. <laughs> it's just a flat stool, you know, like, because that's handy. In Scotland, you get that and you tell a story, and I said to him, and then, oh, <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> 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 Nearly went by there, yeah, didn't I? <laughs> but they don't have it in America. I didn't know this. And I was telling a story, and I was having a bit of a laugh, and then I went to drink the last bit of my beer, and I had to tilt my head all the way back. And I went, oh, shit, wait, this isn't right. And I went all the way back. <laughs> And I fell off my bar stool. Now, there's two reactions to falling off your bar stool, right? You either laugh like a child on the ground, encouraging people to join in. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I have fallen. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Blood pouring out the back of your head. <laughs> That's the first reaction. Well, the other reaction is you get straight back up. You've got to get straight back up now and take a long, hard look at the stool. <laughs> That is dangerous. <laughs> I did the first one, right? Lying on the ground, laughing away. The big bouncer, the big, you know, two drink minimum guy comes up to me. Huge guy. He had his mobile phone in a holster. <laughs> Don't move or I'll text you. <laughs> Sir, he said, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I says, why? Why would you do that? That's, that's my drunk voice, by the way. Do you ever do that when, you, when you're drunk? Do you ever over enunciate? Because in your head, you think, if I'm talking like that, how will anybody know I've been drinking? <laughs> because, you know, like, I'm talking normally and all that. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to get into the club, please. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about Scotland is our drinking. We, we go nuts. We, you can tell how much a country loves its drinking from its reaction to last orders at the bar, can't you? you? Last call, you know, that little bell, ding, 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 ding. In Paris, they're all cool and, eh, where did his last orders? <laughs> nah. <laughs> we should finish up our drinks and go outside into the moonlight. <laughs> it will be very beautiful. <laughs> I will kiss you. <laughs> but in Scotland, we go nuts. Ding, ding, fucking wank up, you bastard, suck off, you fucking don't you dare ring that fucking bell, you fucking fuck. There's no one. It's crazy. No one. No one. Here's the thing. No one ever wants to go home in Scotland. We don't, I don't want to go home now. I'll remember everything. <laughs> what was the point in coming out? But last call in, in Scotland, of course, means you don't have to go. You don't have to go there. You, have, you can get one more drink in. But we're Scottish, so we get two in. That's what we always do, right? We can, we're only get, we've only got 15 minutes left, right? Two, come on, everyone, two, two. Come on, two, fuck off, you're having two. Two, 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 <laughs> two. <laughs> Everyone's got to fuck off, you're having two, mate. You know, you can be hunched on the toilet, puking your guts out. You know, come on, get it out, you're having two. Come on. <laughs> And it's not uncommon. See, it's not uncommon in Scotland to see a guy at the end of the night with a drink in each hand. Sometimes we've got a drink in between the two. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's just the way we, because you know, we don't need we, we we don't need our hands. You'd never see that in in in, a, in Italy. You'd never see a guy with a drink in each hand. How how would you talk? <laughs> you always need them. But I get it. Don't worry. You need the one hand. I get it. Ah, ah, and then that's what they do. We in Scotland, we've mastered the entire art of conversation in just the head bit. We do, we just feel, all right, how's it going, you all right? 
Have you met Barry? Barry? John? 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 Barry? <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the entire Scottish male population has evolved from grain-fed chickens at some point in their life. <laughs> Look at her, she's all right, isn't she? Not her, her. That's all you. <laughs> I tell you what I hate, and you'll get this here in Canada as well. Is what's that bit at the end of the night when a pub wants you to leave? Why do they throw all the lights on? <laughs> what, what possible good can come from that? <laughs> all that does is illuminate the full horror of your situation. <laughs> you don't want to see anything at that time of night. All of a sudden, bang, you fucking hell, have I been talking to a pool cue for 20 minutes? <laughs> no one think about telling me that. Don't know why do they do that? And then, and then the thing is, when the lights come on, I mean, I don't know if, how it happens here, but in Scotland, there's always an opportunity to keep going drinking because there's always a party back at someone's house. Someone will say, I might have something back at mine if you want to. Oh, I'll have a go. <laughs> God, I might as well, you're on the way home. They're never on the way home. <laughs> oh, I'll, 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 it's on the way home. <laughs> Seven miles outside your way home. Oh, it's on the way home, I'll go away. Yeah, yeah. You go back to someone's house at three in the morning, you know, what are you thinking? And then they've never got, they've always got the spirit. Everyone's always got the spirit, but not the mixer that goes with that spirit. That's the cheaper of the two, but no one's ever got that. <laughs> so they have to, people have to become their own cocktail waiters at that time of night. All right, okay, hang on. Anyone for gin and chocolate milk? <laughs> hey, gin and chocolate milk, anyone? Oh, I'll give it a go. I, I... <laughs> oh, I'm all right with that. Aye. Then someone, someone always tries it and goes, Oh, that's quite nice, actually. <laughs> then someone else will say, Oh, I might drink that next time I'm out. <laughs> like, as if you would. As if the next day you're out with the lads, right? Eight pints, is it? Actually, can I have a gin and chocolate milk? <laughs> the hangover is a uniquely Scottish concept as well. They don't get hangovers in, you know, trendy European countries like Italy. Well, they get up, they slip their hair back, they go off to work. <laughs> we, we, we revel in the hangover. It's like an old friend. Wake up, oh. <laughs> oh. Kick our shoes off. <laughs> the light flooding in from the television. <laughs> There's always that moment of self-denial as well. Wow. I just went out for a drink. I want one drink. I have two drinks. Chocolate milk. <laughs> anyway, this look. I'm lying on the floor in this in this bar, right, laughing away. And this big bouncer comes up to me. He said, "Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave." I was like, "Why? Why would you do that?" He said, "Because you're." Literally drunk. <laughs> I said, of course I'm drunk. That is the idea of the pub. <laughs> then I said, for reasons best known to myself, I said, I've never been thrown out of a restaurant for being full. <laughs> you see now... I would just be stumbling up to women in bars. So, uh... I noticed you sitting there by yourself, and uh, you know, thought you might have a list of chores and errands you wanted me to do. 